so for those people that don't know, my my current kind of personal objective while I'm working at Yogs is to sort of make sure everyone's stream assets are oof, oof so sexy. Ooh, so sexy. Um, so I'm slowly working through everyone in the network, make, making sure they're the, the best stream they, they can be, basically. Um, so my plan for this week is to give Pedgwin some, some TLC. What's really important is word of mouth. So everyone say, oh my god, Pedgwin's stream is so good. Just lie, just straight up lie. I feel, I feel Ped's normally quite self-sufficient when it comes to stream assets. He, he's normally quite good at Getting, getting himself sorted, but I think it's, it's time to give him give him some love, give him some attention. Also because the wonderful Boba- What is my accent? I am an idiot. <laughs> has done some amazing, amazing art. So really, it's really goofy. I, I, I love the style of it. Um, for when they're doing Parsec Pal streams, and also it's now completely embedded into his Twitch panels. So I want to continue that style into the stream as well. Basically, so it feels like one continuous style. Um, get, it, get it to continue across. I think it'll look good. So yeah, I, I made some initial mock-ups yesterday, sent them over to Ped, and he responded super quick, which is al always nice. Thank you, thank you, Ped Gwyn. Um, and he's keen for them. So my plan of action this week is to create a sort of a webcam frame with alerts and like a sub count sort of built in. And I also want to make some sort of animated screen which can be used for like a starting screen or a break screen, which, which should be fun. I'm looking for I'm looking forward to it. But first I am I am enjoy I'm enjoy bean juice. Um and in, watch a show. Watch a show and enjoy bean juice. This is the benefit of a cat waking you up early in the morning. You can have a leisurely morning without any stress before you need to Alright, so my plan of attack for today is first do do this. This is a simple job, really. I, I, this is brainless work. This is brainless work, so I'm hoping I've got some podcasts to listen to uh, to get on with this. Okay, so essentially one podcast later, uh, it's done. Uh, really, really wasn't, really wasn't that hard. First what I need to do is make camera mask, get the shape for the camera, so OBS cuts out the webcam image live, super simple to do. Should I show you a quick, quick breakdown on Obviously them? camera frame set up, it's all good. These are, these are the different layers. Camera, all masked out. Then on top of that I need to add a camera frame. Frame on top of the camera. Uh, see, easy. Again, very very easy. Yeah, and then I always just need to add in like a drop shadow effect behind everything afterwards. First is the, the drop shadow. Next bit is I need to make the little alert bar. I need to make all the backgrounds for them. Then on top of that, we've got the, the sub bar thing that I've made. Then on top of that, we've got the camera. Shouldn't be too hard because Bob has done all the hard work with all the emotes, which turn them just incorporating in. So once all the backgrounds are done, I can literally just import them into stream elements, and then do all the animation in there. But if we bring this down, this is, this is the stream elements alert page. So this is what, how the alerts are run. And you can see if we give it a quick emulate, I will do a follow. There we go, it all works. Although that spacing's a bit off, Joe, that. So super easy, easy to do. That's it. That's all I need to do for that. Um, yeah, that one's all right. Okay, I need to tweak that. <laughs> It's all done, it's not done. It's all done. Anyway, now I need to get on with making the animation thing. Starting the screen is gonna be different. What I want to do is make a little character rig for this so I can animate them freely. I know how I'm gonna do it. A few years ago, I made an animation using After Effects um, and I, I think similar techniques are gonna be perfect for this. That is cold, but so Good, relieving, good. Oh, it's like getting a blowjob from Elsa. I think I've got an explanation of how it all works, which I'll- So the way it works, basically, a joystick is sort of, you set five key poses. You set the center frame, left frame, right frame, top and bottom, and then bind those keyframes together to one joystick. And then it just works magic, and you can slide around and it animates all the between 
sort of frames, basically. Thank you, young me. Thank you. Um, so that this is that's the bit. This this is the this this bit is the bit that's gonna take the longest. Whether I can do it today, who knows? Maybe it will be a later in the week job. But first priority: webcam and alerts. Again, not hard. This will just take. And you can tell because I've got a haircut. Wow. Very exciting stuff. Animation's done. Honestly, it didn't actually take too long. Um, I just haven't had time to record this section of the video. The character's broken down to the head and the body separately. As I sort of discussed, the head sort of runs on this, this joystick. So if we unlink it, we can see the, the four, well, the five poses. So those are the only poses I had to set. But then all, all bound to the joystick, they slide about. But yeah, and then, then I brought it into here where I've got the the body shapes, basically the, the arms and legs are just lines, basically. That's all they are. And then I just animate them slightly with, with a little bit of bending. And then they're all parented to like one one null object so that it all moves together as a group. And that, that's, that's basically it, right? Just to, you animate some lines and you animate the head on a joystick and you're done. And then I just added some extra final effects to kind of get it to feel like more like a game rather than solid kind of vector art. So just a displace and a pixel effect and then you're done though. You done though, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because um, it's a solid background, you can kind of key out the background and then add it back in, add stuff in behind on an OBS, which is pretty fun. Um, and there's also a chat that I've I've got sorted out for him. We just found some stuff. There we go. Look, there's a there's a chat that works as well. Very fun. Very fun. Yeah, for those of you that didn't see the uh, the new intro thingy, Machiki, that 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 that. Show me. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. 